Now we have all uh, four through holes out. I think we're gonna leave it like this now. We don't even have. We're gonna measure a bit. We don't have any through holes to replace it. So we need some need to do some measurements to for the, for the valves. Yeah, yeah. To see what fits before we order new ones. Mm -hmm. What this was used for? Mm -hmm. Storage, maybe? Maybe. Tools and stuff for the quarry. Okay, so um, as we mentioned last video, uh, our plan forward is to uh, make a lower part of uh, the keel in lead ourselves. We have started that project, but before uh, we show you the rest of what we have started, we thought maybe we should talk a little bit about uh, one thing, the design of, the, of this uh, lower part of the keel and a little bit on the higher level of how we're gonna do it. Yeah, as we mentioned before, we're gonna we're gonna cast a, a lower lead bulb or whatever you wanna call it. Lower keel is not just a bulb because it's a, a part partly keel, partly bulb. And this is a design that we have uh, uh, done ourselves. O obviously, we are not uh, keel designers at all, but yeah, we have still done that design ourselves um, with the help of some friends as well. Yeah, with the help of some friends and and with a lot of reading and um, I'd say the main idea behind the behind the design has been to try to. Because we, we have the original drawings of, of the original keel, so we know the obviously the total mass, but also the center of gravity of that keel. So, I mean, the, the main design point uh, when, we, when we have done this, this new keel is to... Have the same. <laughs> exactly, to, to, to keep the properties as same as possible, basically. And then mainly thinking about the writing, writing moment of the boat. Uh, and, and then, obviously, the, the total mass and the, and the mass center or center of gravity of the keel. And then we are obviously trying to... I mean the whole part of the of, of sail performance is, is, is very difficult and, and I've been trying to read up a lot on this topic and there's so many keels out there and there's so many different designs and there's so many different ideas about it as well. Our idea has been to try to to change as little as possible, trying to keep as uh, as hydrodynamic as possible, but still also weighing in a lot of a, a, a lot of things that will make the, the the design easier to produce for us. So it 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 is a compromise in different ways. And what we have ended up in is is a tor uh, is a keel that is exactly slightly heavier than the original design, and it has a center of gravity for the z axis or the or the, the height here that is uh, slightly lower as well. So we should have slightly higher writing moment and that's mainly because we did it that way because we also don't want to I mean if we're off in our design we don't want to end up the other way around to have too little writing uh, writing moments so so through the, the the design process or CAD process we basically we have done a lot of different designs so it's been really been an iterative process first of all to just try to to, to, to understand how the shape or where the mass has to be to get the, the correct uh, mass and writing or and center of gravity but also from a hydrodynamical point of view to get a, a good design. And then also, as I mentioned before, from a manufacturing point of view, that it's, it's supposed to be... Should be possible to do this. It <laughs> should be possible for us to do it as well. We went through different designs, forth and back, and also discussing a lot with friends, with knowledge on the subject as well, trying to find the best solution for us. I guess we should have a picture of the final result here somewhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> somewhere here. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in here. <laughs> the design will be that it follows at the beginning, it follows the shape of the uh, actual, the upper part of the keel for a while, and then goes out to this bulbish uh, shape mm -hmm. with the, how do you say it, a tail, and as well as a little bit, uh, do you say bulb in the front as well? <laughs> uh, we, we basically need that shape there to get the, the attachment points in, uh, in the front. Um, as the whole keel is a little bit uh, swept backwards. Mm. Maybe a bit about how we're gonna attach it. Yes. So the whole keel will be. I mean, there are there are already in this design, from where the hinges for the for the for the swing keel were attached. There are some bolt holes. You see some here. There are some underneath here as well. So we're gonna use use the ones underneath. Uh, we're gonna drill some new holes as well. And then we're gonna have basically threaded rods going through the whole lead part. And then 
tight moving the nut from, from underneath. And there's gonna be... M24, right? Yeah, M24 at 200 rods, and there's gonna be 11 of them, uh, as in proof. Maybe a bit on the weight as well, it's gonna be end up in 3,700 kilos, if we, if we manage to get everything right. <laughs> uh, which will give us a total mass of a, a, a bit north of 6,000 kilos of the complete, uh, complete kill. Yes, and uh, the draft will be around, uh, we're not exactly sure where our waterline goes, but it will probably be around uh, 2.3 or 2.4 meters. Yeah. yeah, we have all of this emptiness uh, still in, uh, in the upper part of the keel. We have with the hydraulic cylinders and then there's an uh, empty space uh, where the like, mechanical gear was attached before. Yeah, the plan for that is to keep it empty. We're gonna have some, uh, yeah, how do you say, plate uh, covering. With some sheet metal create the shaper, but it will be an empty space in here. So it will be beneficial for, for, for the boat as a total unit to, to add mass here. Uh, but but uh, we also don't want to add, we don't want to make our keel too much, too heavy compared to what, uh, what it was before. So yeah. I, th I, I would consider this as a backup space if we consider that, okay, we need more, we need more writing moments later on. Uh, then we can add lead there if we want to. But the design as it is for now should be enough with the, with the lead that will be down here uh, instead. And then we keep the total mass down a bit. So as a first shot, we will just keep this, this, uh, this cavity that will be in here uh, empty. Mm. Okay, so moving forward, now that we have a keel design, next step is to make the styrofoam plug and then from that create a mold and we have decided that we will have a sand mold. After that it's uh, melting the lead, pouring it into the mold <laughs> and then we have our keel in a very fast forward uh, description. <laughs> Yeah, first creating the plug and then we have a lot of uh, preparations to do before we could actually uh, uh, do the casting itself, but shouldn't yeah. be that, that far ahead, uh, actually. So we are uh, working full steam ahead to uh, yeah, make this happen soon. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're going to continue with today. But uh, in this video you will see more about the plug making process. Now we're going to do the first step. For, uh, for the plug. Yeah, for the plug. Are we gonna make a template of the kill intersection? Yeah. Yep, the piece in place. Are we just gonna draw on it? Yeah. And then cut it out. And the reason for doing this template is that we have like the drawings of the when this from when this kilo was built. This is more just to make sure that all the measurements are correct. So one part of the uh, keel build that we're gonna do is uh, since we're gonna keep the upper part of the keel, we have this um, hydraulic hoses for the swim keel. Yeah, maybe yeah but they go they go through the. It's, it's just actually a, uh, just a gland up here. But I mean, it's they are sealed all the way through the obviously through the hull. Which is quite quite thick here, and then they go through the upper part of the keel as well. So it's like I don't know how far it is, a meter almost. Mm. Yeah, obviously we will not be able to take them out, so we're gonna keep them in there and just plug them here. Is the plan? Yeah. Uh, but that feels I don't I'm not too worried about that. That feels quite safe. But it's it's a connection here and here. So we we'll basically later on then when we start with this, we need to we need to drain all the oil. But then we'll just open up here and then put on a plug or end stop or I don't know what you call it. And then it's also this... Maybe you can take uh, the camera and show it. Yeah. This is what's the mechanical lock of the of the old swing kit. So here it goes a stainless rod once again through the whole whole upper part of the keel and it comes up here normally when the when the mechanism was still there. And then you can put in a I can show them later, but some locking mechanism to, to just lock it mechanically in the upper or lower position. But obviously, as you can see, it's quite it's underneath the, the engine, so it's not not very simple to get access of it. So that was not probably not that easy to to do before. And uh, but obviously now it's it's actually a hole. We haven't seen it ourselves. Maybe we can send the camera. In. It should be a hole all the way out there. Yeah, yeah. So this one we will just. Yeah. Mechanism. yeah, that's that's one of them. That yeah. 
But there was this one we're gonna use, right? Yeah, this one we will thread in to just seal it up. But that one is used to push it. That was when it was in the upper position. You push this this rod down. And then we have another piece here which you can thread in and pull it up as well. But anyhow, now we're gonna use this part to later on to seal it up. And this thread, I mean, it, this is huge. I don't know what. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably like three inches. See my hand. Twenty millimeters. We have uh, cut out this uh, profile of the of the keel or the lower part of the upper keel. Here is uh, the next piece, which will be the the, the midsection of the of the lead keel part that we're gonna mold before uh, the bulb. Roughly, like maybe just to draw something. It looks something like this. It will be if this is where the upper keel ends. Then we'll go down. Oops, it will go down in, in quite a straight line and then there will be like a, like a bulbish thing. So this intersection up here is this bit. And now I'm doing, okay, I'm a really bad drawer, but then I'm doing this intersection. Uh, this will be built up by styrofoam and then we will cut this with a hot wire and basically use these two pieces as, as guidance when we cut through it. And then this lower part, this is the front view, and the lower part will be... Uh, okay, now I'm gonna draw it from the side as well. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> it will look ish, something like this. Okay, it will not look... yeah. So this is the upper part, this part, and then the, uh, which we will build up by styrofoam sheets. Laying like this. But this one has a more complicated shape, so this will be built up by thinner sheets, a lot of them. I haven't really decided how many. Mm. Uh, probably will use a bit thicker in the middle where the, where the shape does not change that much. I just uh, finalized the template of the second uh, I don't know, wooden template that we're going to use to cut out the uh, upper part of the styrofoam uh, mold in our to our, to our lead keel. So this part will be something like this. It's 300 millimeters above the, the next uh, frame or template. Then we're gonna just clamp these two between a styrofoam block and try to cut it with a, with a hot wire. First step of making the plug is that uh, we're gonna glue this styrofoam together. Okay, so now, um, now this uh, styrofoam piece has uh, cured. Okay, so now we'll try to align or lined up the, the two templates, one on each side of this uh, styrofoam block. And uh, obviously they need to be centered to each other, which I hope we got pretty well now. So hopefully we have um, uh, aligned them and centered them correctly. And then there's also, an, I mean if they are on top of each other, there's also an, an, an offset like this as the keel is uh, leaning a bit uh, towards aft on the boat. And then we have uh, just drilled some small holes and, and put a small threaded rod and clamped both, uh, both templates from each side. So you can see that if you turn it up here, we have the... Uh, other side here. How does it look? Good. What do you think? Okay, yeah, it's good. Some, well, obviously uh, there are some small defects, but uh, I think... Like here, for example. But yeah, but that's, that we can fix Yeah. quite easily, I would say. It looks really good. I have to fix a little bit at the tail as well. I guess the tail is not very well defined right now. <laughs> no. 
but that doesn't really matter. No. We will not, we will probably cut it so we have like a not too sharp edge in the end because it's very difficult to to cast that, I think. So now it's time to start doing the lower part, uh, the actual bulb of uh, the keel. And I have here a big pile of papers. It's uh, different segments of the bulb part of the keel. So that we have printed and that I'm now gonna cut out. Okay, so we I have now cut out all the paper templates and now we're adding them to the styrofoam. Then each, each piece is cut to with a hot wire cutter and then we try to shape it as good as possible. And then the final shaping will be when all, all come together. So far we have done these pieces. And then the, the idea is to try to align them with this the track in the bottom. Mm and then glue them together on a flat surface and then try to yeah, start to shape them in basically. Now we're trying to glue the plugs together. 